after discussing mod or surveying instruments in advanced survey topic this is the fifth module in video syllabus so in the first video we have discussed introduction and electromagnetic distance measurements also we have discussed i will discuss this electromagnetic spectrum in the next class now i will take on total station okay we will see what is total station what are the working principle of total station with the neat figure station means combination of an electronic theodolite and elect and electronic distance meter and a microprocessor is known as total station that means total station is a combination of three components one is electronic theodolite and electronic distance meter edm and a microprocessor this combination of these three will called total station okay so theodolite and edm combination determines the coordinates of a reflector so what is meant by reflector now so in this figure you can see this one is a, a reflector that means whichever point you want information like x y and z of the coordinate of any point you need to put this uh, reflector on that point and you need to operate the total station then you will get the reflector x y and z coordinates this one is called reflector this one you should place on the points now theodolite and edm combination determines the coordinates of a reflector coordinate means x y and z direction by aligning the instrument crosses on the reflector and simultaneously measures the vertical and horizontal angles and slope uh, slope distances that means uh, when this theodolite is seted on the instrument station uh, the instrument crosses has to be facing this reflector okay after that you need to uh, switch uh, one button you have to click on one switch button then you will get a uh, the x y and z coordinates of the reflector this instrument total station automatically determines this vertical angle and horizontal angle and slope distance slope distance is nothing but distance from instrument station to the reflector these three components it will automatically calculates okay by using calculates okay by using all those three things it will calculate coordinates of the reflector that is x comma y and z of the point next recording computations of readings will be done by the microprocessor chip in the instrument in total station we have microprocessor chip this chip will record the vertical horizontal angles and slope distances it will record here then it will do the computations computations like plus minus multiplication whatever the things it wants it will compute there and it stores the data it records the data and stores the data in the microprocessor chip in the instrument okay from any computer if you have laptop or computer from any computer the data from the total station can be easily received and it can be used to generate maps okay whatever the stored data in easily transfer to a computer or a laptop to generate maps okay this is about the small introduction of total station next we will see what is the working principle of total station okay total station measures mainly three parameters when aimed at the object aimed at the object is nothing but you need to put reflector on the object and you have to aim that total station to that object okay so what are these three parameters means one is horizontal angle second one is vertical angle and third one is slope distance okay so now this figure gives you complete details of now this is the measurements done made by the total station these are the measurements made by the total station here you can see this is instrument station this is a vertical plumb line you can call it as that means when you drop a plumb from the instrument Uh, that will be in the downward to the earth direction right that is called vertical okay so whatever the vertical angle from that plumb line to the line of sight 
line of sight means telescope line of sight is there right of total station that line of sight from that vertical to the line of sight whatever the angle you got that will be zenith angle so z is zenith angle or or you can call it as a vertical angle okay because you are getting a vertical angle from the plumb point to the line of sight now next what is horizontal angle so instrument north will be there so line of sight is here the clockwise this horizontal will be like this this is a total horizontal angle you need to find out up to the line of sight is called horizontal angle so and what is the distance between this instrument station to that uh, point object is slope distance or sd okay this will be directed to the target or reflector you can say so this is uh, so this one is known as total station this telescope will be aimed that side that means whatever the angle you are finding horizontal angle that will be like this from somewhere here one point will be there somewhere here another point will be there the angle between this these two is horizontal angle okay so now this is one point right and this is a plumb line means if you drop a plumb from here to down side that will be plumb line that is vertical line from this vertical to this vertical line to this line of sight that is when you are aiming to the object this angle is nothing but vertical angle clear so in this one you can easily get to understand see this z uh, represents the z axis that is plumb line axis okay from plumb line to the point b is it is zenith angle that is vertical angle from point or uh, from that uh, vertical to the point b so here you can see what is horizontal angle from this zero when you make this one is instrument north and this one is a true north this one is the instrument north when you become you when you made all the values zero this becomes instrument north from the instrument north to the point b horizontal plane is horizontal angle and this is the normal north direction okay so now this is the vertical angle from the plumb point to the b point is zenith angle clear is horizontal angle so the rotation of the instrument's optical axis from the instrument north is in a horizontal plane is known as horizontal angle the rotation of the instrument's optical axis from the instrument north in a horizontal plane is known as horizontal angle that i already told in your in that figure okay so when the user first sets up the instrument the choice of zero direction should be made that means when you set the instrument at point a you need to set the zero direction okay that should be on permanent benchmark you select and you direct total station to that permanent benchmark make all the readings zero that will be your instrument north from that instrument north okay that zero direction should be set so that it can be recorded if the instrument wants to set up at the same location at some later date that means you need to select a permanent benchmark so when you later uh, that means that means when you want uh, you, a week after you want to again do the survey that permanent benchmark will be there you go there again you can easily carry out the uh, remaining works okay that's why you have to select permanent benchmark okay this is usually done by citing to another benchmark in total station a magnetic compass is not used to determine the orientation of the instrument as it can be very inaccurate so in older instruments like uh, plane table and all we use magnetic compass to orient okay but here magnetic compass will give some more error but total station is a accurate one therefore it will not use magnetic compass we will uh, use instrument north as for our reference for orientation of the instrument okay in total station the instrument is to set at a convenient north and carry this through the survey by using back sides when the instrument is moved so in total station the instrument is set to a convenient north means this is not a true north for convenient north we need to select and carry this through the survey by using back sides when the instrument is moved okay next one next we will discuss what is vertical angle the inclination of the optical axis from the plumb line is known as vertical angle that is vertical vertical plane the vertical angle usually measured as zenith angle this one is also called as zenith angle see 0 degree vertical upwards when it is seeing sky that angle will be 0 degree when seeing 90 degree that will be horizontal and 180 degree vertically downwards 
vertically downwards. So this type it calculates the angle 0 degree upward, 90 degree horizontal, 180 degree downward, vertically downward. Okay. So while measuring vertical angle, the instrument should be truly vertical. So whenever you're doing uh, set the instrument, it should be vertical. But the total station contains one internal sensor, okay, vertical compensator. That means if the instrument is not vertical, this vertical compensator sensor will make that instrument vertical, truly vertical. But this can detect only small deviations of the instrument from vertical. Only small things, small correction, it may, it, a small deviation will be removed by this vertical compensator and makes the station truly vertical. The compensator can only make small adjustment, therefore the instrument still has to be well level in order to get correct vertical. As the slope distance, the instrument to reflector distance is measured using an electronic distance meter EDM is known as slope distance. From the distance from the instrument to the object, instrument to the reflector is known as slope distance. EDM uses a gallium arsenide diode to emit an infrared light beam. Okay, EDM uses a gallium arsenide diode to emit an infrared light beam. The infrared beam is emitted from the total station and the same beam is reflected by the reflector. Okay, so the infrared beam will comes from the total station, it hits to the reflector and reflects back to the total station and received and amplified. Amplified means it will process that one. How much distance it traveled, what is the speed of that beam and what is the time taken to travel all those things it will calculate and use the distance okay so that one is called actually actually phase shift what is phase shift means uh, previously in uh, uh, laboratory and all they will be calculating what is the normal uh, phase shift phase shift means what is the distance tra what are what is the speed of that uh, infrared beam how much distance it will cover in this time that much of uh, uh preliminary test they will be done in the laboratory so in the field whatever the test they were going to do that will compare with the that uh, instrument itself compares with the laboratory test already done then it automatically calculate what is the distance